Hey people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca. I film from Katna, Nigeria. Today, we will be discussing how to deal with someone who takes credits for your work. Stay tuned. So here is the case. Your colleague stole your idea. Now, by your colleague, I mean on same level. Not your boss, not the management, your workmates, classmates, you know, same level. Let's so, say you were assigned a task of developing a concept note alongside your colleague. And of course, at the end of the day, you both did 50-50 of the job. He did half, you did the other half, you got the job done. Now it's time for presentation. Your colleague says, please, um, I would like to make the presentation on behalf of the two of us. And then you've thought about it, mm, no problem, please go ahead, make the presentation. Voila, your colleague makes the presentation and takes all the credits. They didn't share it with you, they didn't mention your name, they didn't even allude to you at all. What will you do? There are different options here. I'll give you four options and I want you to think through it and see which one you would naturally have taken. Then listen to what I would suggest now. Option one, attack him right there and then while he is still presenting and he is being praised, you know. What are you talking about? Excuse me, we both did this work. Why are you making it sound like I didn't do anything and you did everything? I did most of the work. So why are you taking all the credits? Uh, excuse me, we both did the work and I will not accept that you take this shine. Option two, let it slide, let it go. Even if you're sulking and it's like you want to cry because he's taking all the shine, truly and you're left with nothing. In fact, can even applaud him alongside every other person because you have no choice. Even if truly deep down you, all you want to do is bust out there and start crying. Option three, allow him to finish the presentation and quietly raise your hand just like any other person in the meeting then you thank him for making that great presentation on behalf of the team then you throw more light on the work and ensure it is clear that you both did the job you can even give more details and insights that he didn't give option four wait till the end of the meeting then go ask him why did you do that you know for benefit of the doubt maybe it was a mistake an oversight a costly oversight of course and then ask him to you know set the record straight go meet the management go meet other colleagues go meet other, every other person and tell them that we did the job together you know that it was an oversight now naturally the one who has made mistake would actually would want to go ahead and do that but the one who did it intentionally would rather keep his mouth shut and keep the credits all to himself. So which of these options would you go for? One, two, three, or four? Personally, I have been in this situation before. I was on a group, it was a three-man committee. I mean, three-man committee. <laughs> you know, we were working on a concept note, and so the first person did her own part. I did mine and passed it to the third person. So it was with the third person at the time of presentation. And then this person stood up to present this and owned my strategy and people were applauding him for it like whoa nice initiative wow great it was wrong on all levels one it was not supposed to make people realize what each of us contributed it was supposed to be presented as one document to say we just to use the statement we and not I but he ended up saying this person did this this person did that and the biggest of my credit, he took it and people applauded him for that and I just sat there quiet and said nothing. I guess today I know better. I would take option three. I would have allowed him to finish. I would raise my hand like any other person in the meeting 
thank him and you know then i will go ahead and give specific details of the rationale behind that particular idea and ensure that i own it because it's mine your reputation at work is your currency you shouldn't allow someone who is stupid or someone who is selfish or a narcissist to take it off you so you should ensure that you always put yourself out there ensure that you iron things out especially things about you things that will put you on the right track for me the ultimate idea is never to be so harsh that you react out of impulse and you know be disrespectful and there'll be a stain on your character because it's good you maintain a good character at work as well even at school but also you shouldn't be too cold that people would trample you and keep taking credit for the work you're doing and just take you for granted you know so the major thing is that you find the balance between being too harsh and being too cold find the balance be respectful be polite and do the right thing if you find yourself in this situation what do you think you would have done please use the comment section below let's get talking